What's up everybody? It's Hunter Oakley here. I'm back with another video. Um, it's week 20 of commercial dive schools done. Um, we're just heading into our short little summer break here. We get a week off. Um, so that's why this video is a little bit late. I just haven't had time. Well, I've had time, but <laughs> I've been slacking. Anyways, um, so if you're not familiar with what I'm doing, I'm doing like weekly recaps on my commercial dive school up in Seattle, Washington called the Divers Institute of Technology. So just basically going over what I do each week. So if you haven't checked out any of the prior videos, um, I got them up there. So you can go check them out on my channel. But this week is, um, it's pretty cool the way we timed out our school. I mean, um, or the, the class that I have because we finished up salvage this week and then we have this week at vacation and then the next few weeks is going to be scuba and then after that is deep dives and we're out of here so um, this week was all salvage every single day we had three different teams um, my team was the first team up and then there was two other teams obviously that went Tuesday and Wednesday and then Thursday um, but anyways I'll, I'll hop into it more detailed so Monday um, we was my team so what we did is we had a group of six I believe and we we kind of had a dive bill set up of who has the important roles and whatnot. And then everyone else in the class was kind of just standby helping, uh, helping hand here and there, but they weren't really stepping on our toes too much. So you kind of ran it like your own job in a sense. Um, so even on the, the days that they were, we kind of stood back and just helped them out where they needed, whether it's when it's actually holding the line, the mooring lines, when the boat comes up or, um, making sure it doesn't smack into the barge, which actually it ended up doing one of the days, but I'll get into that. So anyways, um, we were team one. We, everything honestly went super smooth. We had our plan set out. We had who, everyone showed up, um, and everyone did their job. Um, nothing really could have, in my opinion, I don't think it could have got much better. I mean, yeah, we could have done things a little bit faster, but I'm happy for the first day, for our first lift for the class, for everyone to see, I think we did pretty good. Um, then the next, so I'll put in a clip. I have a time lapse that I did. It's kind of fast. I wish I could like, I might be able to try to slow it down, but it's like super fast and then shows the boat lift up and then water drain. And, um, so anyways, I got a time lapse of that and then I'll throw in there that one was our lift and then I have a video of the third day's lift um, sorry if you guys hear that whining we just got a Labrador puppy so she's in a crate being wacko but anyways um, team two was the next day on Tuesday um, everything went kind of decent with them a um, couple flaws here and there but not too bad they brought the boat up and it was coming up and then went a little sideways and came up underneath the barge. It wasn't anything that was their fault. It just, it's, that's how salvage is that they say they're like, it's could be totally different the next day and in the exact same spot. So unfortunately it came up underneath the barge and sheared off three of the valves on one of the pontoon or no, two of the valves on one of the pontoons we used to lift it. So it went back down. So it came up went underneath the barge, um, sheared off those two valves, and then obviously that pontoon filled back up with water. She went back down. So that was kind of a long day. We had to, um, had one of the instructors hop in because didn't think it was the safest thing to hop in there with all, there was still a lot of air in that thing because we had air in some of the ballast tanks, the other pontoon, and two lift bags, so he felt it was safer for him to go down there and scope it out so nobody got hurt. So um, he went down there, plugged two of them, filled them up with his pneumo, actually, um, and we were able to kind of jerry-rig it and get it up that day, but it, took, it was a long day, um, but we eventually got it up. 
got it all detached and sunk it where it needed to be. So for the next guys, all we had to do was fix that pontoon and luckily they were able to make a parts run. And um, I think one of the welds cracked on that fitting where the um, quarter turn valve goes into those pontoons where the compressor hoses go into it. So um, anyways, they did that and they just had to like JB weld one of the little cracks. So. Um, that was that and then team three came in um same thing had a couple issues here and there but um for the most part everything the the boat came up perfectly straight that day like nothing weird no because even when our boat came up it shot up i think bow first and um but it settled and didn't hit anything luckily like team twos came up actually pretty straight too but it actually just came up under the barge anyways um so theirs came up straight and then they were having some problems with their de-rigging dive they just couldn't figure things out and were having a couple issues so um we had to we just said you know what call it um leave some of the things down there and because we ended up repet or they ended up repetting their guys um, once to, cause they did like an extra dive or something because they were having problems with that de-rigging dive, um, which is just taking off all the patches and whatnot. So we just said, you know what, call it, we'll get it in the morning. Um, so, and lost a few things. Um, so it wasn't a big deal, but we were just kind of over sitting there looking for things. So we're like, you know what, let's just, uh, scratch today and we'll, we'd been there for a while and we're like, you know, we'll just finish it up tomorrow. So cause we didn't really have anything too crazy going on on Thursday. We were going to do hose change outs, but we, um, a lot of guys were taking all of our gear out of the locker room for, um, summer so they can redo the locker rooms. And so not everyone had their gear and wanted to dive. So Thursday was just a quick, I went down, um, and looked for one of those patches for like ever it seemed like um and i wasn't able to find it we found a couple of other random things like tools and whatnot um so they sent in the next guys that wanted to go look for it and they actually found it so that was good because that would have sucked if we lost one of those patches those are not cheap but um so found that and then it was kind of a slow paced day. We just cleaned up the barge because we're done on that barge. Um, and then the they went over hiring techniques with us, just kind of an extracurricular thing. It, it's not really part of the curriculum, I guess you could say, but um, it was cool that he took the time out of his day. Well, obviously he's getting paid to do it, but <laughs> um, went over hiring techniques with us and what not to do, what to do, and um, how to go about things, which is, I really appreciate. Um, and then, yeah, pretty much that. I mean, salvage was awesome. I, I really, coming into school, I was like, this is one of the things where I was like, eh, I'm not too excited about that. But I think it's gone full circle, and I'm. this is probably one of my most favorite things so far. Um, it's just cool because it's always unique and not the same thing, you know, over and over. So, but yeah, it's super, I mean, everything has been fun about it. Um, it's cool. Just the, the more and more we get into it, the more we're learning, obviously. And, um, knowing like your different nomenclature and whatnot for, whether it's port, starboard, bow, stern, half, whatever. Um, just being really detailed seems like it's super important in the diving world because when you're talking, um, if you don't have a camera on you or it's no viz, you have to be really descriptive on, um, what you're doing, obviously to your supervisor. So that's kind of been a cool thing to learn along the way is how, how to, um, explain what you're doing and how you're doing it. So everything everyone topside so you're basically trying to paint a picture with your words 
to the supervisor or whoever's topside talking to you on comms and um and then they can kind of guide you to it because it, it is weird it, when you get down there it's like some days i'll go down there and like be like man i crushed that whatever i feel like i did pretty good and then some nights i get down there and like the first five minutes of the dive i'm like what wait a second let me slow down what am i supposed to be doing like your whole brain just gets shot out the window you're like what am i supposed to be doing right now and then you gotta slow yourself down but um so yeah that's pretty much everything we've done for um salvage we're wrapping that up and then next we get this week off and the next week is scuba or next few weeks is scuba so that'll be awesome the weather's been really nice up here lately so um i'm stoked for that but um as always if you guys have any questions about anything feel free to hit me up about them and that's it thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you on the next one yeah, we got